Amen. Afternoon. The um, the Scalists have agreed to release you from your contract so that you can join the coaching team with Ireland. Um, you've been here a long time with Lanathi, first of all, on the Scarlets. How difficult a decision was it for you to um, to, to decide to leave and, and to sort of move on in, with your coaching career? Yeah, uh, I think there's um, 15 years of playing and coaching uh, that I've got a, a, a you know a big emotional tie to. Um, I made some lifelong friends through my coaching and my playing career. Um, not just people that are associated with the club um, work here, but also um, you know, key sponsors and, and uh, people that have um, you know, supported the club for many years. So uh, there's a huge amount of history that that uh, I've got with the place. Um, but it's, you know, some some opportunities come around um, very rarely, and, and uh, this one probably was one of those where um, you don't get asked to, to coach um, the international team, uh, let alone the team that you play for uh, too often. So uh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm obviously uh, delighted that I was able to take up the opportunity. Um, but uh, on the same hand, um, you know, very mostly tied to this place and. and and uh, will be for uh, for the rest of my life. Or As you mentioned, it's a unique opportunity for you um, to be joining a, an international coaching team. Where does this take you now, as a young as a young coach? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've I've been offered a, a great opportunity here to uh, to not only start as an assistant um, under Nigel Davis, a player coach first, and then moved on to to be an assistant coach and then head coach. So we're in a in uh, five years, I think I've had a fairly steep learning curve, um, and in a in a really good environment where I have had massive support from from players, from other coaches, management, backroom, right through the business, uh, the board, the chairmen's, um, but also the supporters. So I understand here that I, I you know, I, I've had a very good support network. Um, going to coach international rugby for me as a as a as a, an individual, as a coach, um, it's, it's a different place. You, you've got to work um, less time sometimes with the players. You have to work in different ways. Um, you don't get contact with them daily uh, and weekly. Um, so there's an adjustment to be made there, and I think that's one that, that quite excites me. Um, you know, hopefully, I'll, I'll have the opportunity to to um, learn a huge amount from what's already in place in the Irish setup under Joe. Schmidt and, and Les Kiss, uh, and it's taken me probably away from something that I'm really comfortable with. But no, there's there's pressure on me here to, to perform uh, and to get results. But going into a different environment, um, the challenge for me was was something that I was really um, keen to take up, and hopefully, um, the way I am, that that challenge will be something I'll I'll uh, live up to. The pack here at the Scalas have made huge, huge strides in the last few seasons. Um, does that make it easier in some way for you to sort of move on, knowing that you're leaving a strong squad um, that have developed over the last few years and obviously the new recruits that have come in for the new season? Yeah, I mean, I, I think when I took over a couple of years ago, um, there was a bit of a change uh, in terms of looking at the squad in a different way. We, we put a lot of emphasis and... Um, not just financial but, but practical commitment to the front five in particular um, to deliver a platform, something that maybe in the past uh, there's been a question mark over at this club but I think the fact that uh, the board uh, have supported that and supported me in terms of recruitment there and retention, we've got a couple of very very good youngsters coming through the system and clearly that's that's part of that development that, that works so well here but, but also we've been able to recruit from outside and I think that platform uh, is as good as it's, it's ever been here. Um, you combine that with with a couple of really good recruits at eight, uh, and also um, a couple of outside backs coming in uh, to um, to complement what the forwards have been doing the last couple of years. Then I think um, the the squad here is as competitive as it has been for a couple of years, and 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 that for me is is, is pleasing. Uh, that I think there's probably going to be something here that that's we can really push on and, and we can test ourselves, which we did a couple of years ago going to the, the semi-final of the, of the playoffs. Um, you know, we need to do that consistently uh, and the club needs to, to perform at the highest level in this new rugby championship, which, which
which is going to go up another level as well. And I think the squad is is capable of doing that. Similarly, with with new player recruits, the new coaching staff coming in as well in Wayne Peebach, um alongside long-standing coaches now that are here at the region. What what would you hope to see from them now going forward? I I, I think we we're fortunate that we've kept hold of of, of uh, Danny, uh, you know, and he's his. His involvement is still very important here. Um, the same with Matt Tainton, both on a part-time basis of the kicking and and, and, uh, and Danny with the scrum. I think Mark Jones has done a huge amount of work in in, uh, in difficult circumstances at times. You know, he's he's uh, he's not always had a, the best um, uh, cards dealt to him, and I think he's worked uh, very well with with the players that we've had here. And I think they're they're only going to improve, and and what he's got to work with next year will hopefully. Uh, only enhance what he can do. Wayne coming in gives us a lot of experience. He's been a head coach uh, in Auckland. He's been a head coach in, in Fiji rugby. So, in that sense, he's coming in to an environment that hopefully is very settled. There's, there's plenty of continuity both in the playing and the coaching st staff. Um, and hopefully, he can in enhance what we already have. And his experience will will lend itself to to what already is a, a really progressive group. Uh, we've had a few uh, few weeks now of pre-season training. How are the how are the squad adapting um, to the new recruits, and how are they shaping up ahead of the new season? Yeah, pre-season always probably a difficult time <laughs> for players. Uh, what we are able to do as coaches is, is put, put a bit of detail in. Um, obviously, the conditioners have a, a major requirement in getting the players up to a, a certain level, conditioning level. Um, but we've been really happy with what we've seen so far. We have a number of players still away, We've got four or five guys that are on the kind of longer term injury list that should come back in, in August. Uh, and we've got probably another 12 or 15 players who are still away with, with um, having their international break. So I, I think we're in a good place. Uh, the players have, have responded really well to a new SNC team um, and uh, that performance team has, has worked really hard to, to put a, a good environment in place. Uh, back that up with with some good um, skill work, uh, in particular with Mark Jones, um, and, and more recently we've been looking at other areas of the game, but keeping it fairly generic. Um, but I think we'll be in a good place um, come come Bath uh, in, uh, in in about a month's time, and then you know come Ulster here in uh, the first Pro 12 game. Um, maybe back to your playing days here with the Scarlets. What what would you say? Other sort of standout moments, the highlights for you, and um, as a as a Scarlet player. As a player, um, there's, there's, there's a lot to mention. Um, yeah, the, the couple of the 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 Heineken Cup runs we had were were uh, outstanding. Um, yeah, the the disappointments were, were were obviously clear to see when we we made three semi finals in my time and and not gone on and made the final, but. Um, we, you know, we we batted above our, our average probably at times uh, here, um, probably in the early 2000s. Uh, Wasps uh, in the last group match we had to win by 10 points and we, uh, we managed to sneak home uh, and, and progress to the quarters and semis that year. So I, I think there's, there's so many great memories here as a player uh, and a lot of good memories as a coach as well and, and obviously hugely appreciative of, of the support I've had and the opportunity I've had to to not only play here, but, but kick on in, into my coaching career and uh, have the opportunity to uh, you know, to lead this great club. Um, what would you like to say to those um, friends, family, supporters, partners, all those people you mentioned that you've met along along the way here internationally? What what would you like to say to them? Uh, I suppose it's you know it. This is a. a uh, a period in my career where I think it's something really important for me to do, but I think um, you know, my, uh, my my heart will always be here, uh, and uh, you never say never. You know, rugby's a funny game, and, and coaching in particular, things um, things change reasonably quickly as we've seen over the last uh, couple of months. So, you know, I'm hugely appreciative of everything that I've had here, the support I've had, the the opportunity I've had, and um, you know, I, I'm. You know, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here, meeting so many wonderful people. Um, you know, meeting the great man Grav and, and having the opportunity to spend some time with him, and and uh, I think all those memories will will continue with me and, and serve me really well in my in my career with Ireland. And 
um, you know, who knows what will happen in the in the in the future after that. But uh, yeah, you know, massive thank you to everybody, and, and uh, I'm sure you'll see me around here at uh, some point in the, in the next couple of years. Well, from us all here, um, I'm sure I'm, I, I'd be right in, in saying a very good luck to you. Um, from, from us all as staff and supporters, I wish you all the very best for the future. Cheers, thanks.